play Golden Knights honor Vegas victims before home opener 146 prior to the franchise's first home game, the Las Vegas Golden Knights pay tribute to the victims of the Las Vegas shootings with a pre-game ceremony. 146,155 a.m. at Las Vegas It was a bittersweet start. Before the Vegas Golden Knights took the ice in their inaugural home game on Tuesday night, the team introduced first responders in an emotional 15-minute ceremony. Doctors, nurses, policemen and firefighters were called out by name, accompanied by Golden Knights players. There also was a 58-second moment of silence to honor the 58 people killed in the worst mass shooting in American history, which occurred October 1 at a country music concert in Las Vegas less than a mile from Tomobile Arena, home of the Golden Knights. The names of the victims were emblazoned on the ice. The Golden Knights home opener honored first responders by name before a 58-second moment of silence to honor the 58 people who were killed in the mass shooting in Las Vegas earlier this month. Kirby Liosa Today Sports We will do everything we can to help you and our city heal, Golden Knights player Derek Engeland told the crowd. Engeland has made Las Vegas his offices and home, since playing for the city's ECHL team he also met his wife here. After two road victories in their first two games, the Vegas Golden Knights made their regular season debut in front of their home fans. See how the NHL's newest team got ready for the big day. After long viewing Las Vegas as a vacation hotspot, players on other teams were pumped about the prospect of taking business trips to Sin City. But the mass shooting on October 1 changed their perspective especially for Las Vegas native Jason Zucker. In lieu of ads for their first-ever home game at Tomobile Arena, the Knights are honoring the victims of last week's tragedy. Reminders of the tragedy were everywhere. The boards at Tomobile Arena were wiped of advertising instead, the words Vegas Strong were printed around the rink. Many billboards leading into the resort city have been painted black with similar messages. The Knights and their opponents, the Arizona Coyotes, both wore diesels honoring victims. Some things are bigger than rivalries, the Coyotes' official Twitter account posted. The account also changed its avatar to an image melding the team's logos for Tuesday night's game. Knights staffers had conducted a run-throw of the pre-game ceremonies on Monday, and according to Vegas coach Gerard Gallant, even that got emotional. I could feel myself getting teary-eyed, the normally stoic Gallant said Tuesday morning. And the game will be a lot tougher than that. The Knights beat the Coyotes 52 to become the first expansion team to start 30.